In today's video I'll be talking to you about five things that every travelling magician needs in their bag. Steam here and in today's video I thought I'd talk to you about five things that I feel that every magician needs to have in their bag when traveling. As a working professional I spend a lot of time on the road so these are five things that I have found to be very very important and have made my life a lot easier. So if that sounds interesting just keep watching. Coming in at number one, we have a backup for your music. Now, as a working professional, you will have to travel a lot and you won't have access to your usual home computer. So two things I always carry with me, first of all, is this. This is a SSD drive that has all my music, all my ad copy, any graphics a promoter might need. As well as I also carry this. This is my iPad. I have a show cues on this, which has all my music lined up, but also have copies of my music saved here and also I have it saved on my phone as well so I've got various uh, playlists that are made up in Spotify so I can just hand the tech my phone and if I do they might say the classic oh you've got an iPhone do you have an adapter so I always carry one of these so this is a 3.5 to lightning adapter if you have an iPhone always make sure you have a couple of these kicking about because you never know you will need it when you don't have one I can guarantee that Alright, so coming in at number two, we have... <laughs> Figure what it's called. <laughs> Alright, so coming in at number two, we have this, which is my minimalist close-up case. Now, when I travel for work, I have a totally different show that I do. If I'm travelling quite far, I might need to go on a plane, so I need to restrict some of the things that I'll carry. As well as that, I have this in case of emergency. So if, for example, I lose my bag or something major happens that will restrict me from performing the act that I've got planned, this is my backup. If you want to see a video on this, please leave a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to show you exactly what's in that bag. So just a little side note, this is actually a bag which is a toiletry bag but it meets the carry-on specification for your liquids. So this is a act that I carry and it has came in handy a lot. So for example, I always keep this just in my travel bag and I've even forgot my case and went, oh no, what I'm going to do? And this has saved me. <music> So before we go any further, I just want to give you a little update. I do apologise that there was no video last week. I was really, really busy. So I had a lot of stuff on. Some of the things that I'd done was I performed at an influencer event. This was basically a relaunch for a restaurant where they invited a lot of social media influencers. It was really, really good fun. Um, great people to perform for. Got to meet Bash the Entertainer, who is quite big on the social media. And also former Love Island contestant Briggs. So really good fun to perform for them. And on Wednesday I've done a lecture at the Scottish Conjurers Association. Really good lecture. Got to present my working on the fly. Uh, so thank you to the club for having me. It was really good fun. And as well as that I performed at a couple of weddings and a 30th birthday party. Next week I do have a great video planned so keep your eye out for that. Remember to click subscribe, switch notification bell on and press the little bell so you get notified when I post it. Anyway back to the video. Don't know why I walked out of shot there. That, that, that was really, really weird, wasn't it? Alright, so coming in at number three, we have a camera that will allow you to capture your act. As a working magician, it's always important to have some content, whether that is to check how your act performed, to see if there was anything that you can improve, or even if it's for social media or marketing purposes. As someone who is obsessed with photography and video, I have various cameras. One that I always take with me is this. This is a GoPro. And also I just recently bought this. This is a 360 camera from Insta360. This is the One X2, which allows you to film 360. It has an invisible selfie stick. It's absolutely amazing. I've literally just got it today and I've spent about two hours playing with it and it's really good fun. All right, so this is a GoPro. This is a action camera, but because of the footprint of it, it's quite small, and because of the functionality and the various mounts that are available, it can literally be mounted anywhere. So I'm now going to show you my favorite way to mount a GoPro to capture my show. 
So there are two ways that I will capture my show using the GoPro. First way is one of these. This is a Gorilla Pod. These are bendy tripods and this will allow you to mount a camera pretty much anywhere. So if for example there is a, just say like a pipe or something, you could wrap it around that. This can also be mounted on a table. It can be changed in size as well. So these do come in really, really handy. However, my favourite way to mount a GoPro is using one of these and one of these. So this is what's known as a friction arm and a clamp. So basically, friction arm screws into the clamp. The clamp can then be basically attached anywhere. So whether it's a table or the sound booth, I've even mounted it from a lighting rig and captured a kind of top down view. But this friction arm bends pretty much every way possible. So what I do is, I get it in position, I mount my GoPro on the bit at the top and pretty much this can be hung from anywhere. If you would be interested in a video of me going a little bit more into tech and ways to capture your show and get footage, leave a little comment down below. I'd love to hear how you do it as well, so comment down below with that. Alright, so coming in at number four we have a throat lozenger. Alright, so one of the most important tools as a magician is our voice, unless you're a silent act or perform to music. So being a close-up magician, it's really, really important to keep my voice very, very fresh and make sure that I don't end up with a sore throat. There's various techniques that I use. I have learned how to project my voice in loud environments. I also drink a lot of water. I keep myself healthy. But as well as that, one of the most important things has been throat lozenges. This is actually something that Mark Mason suggested to me. These are called Vocal Zone. This is actually a throat lozenger that's recommended from a lot of kind of theatre performers and singers. So these, I do recommend that you check them out. Alright, so coming in at number five, we have an extension cable. Now this is actually a tip I got from a really good friend of mine, Mandy, who you have saw in some previous videos. Basically, one of the things about travelling as a performer is you're always in a hotel room. Now, hotel rooms are terrible, absolutely terrible for plugs. The plugs are always away from the bed and it's always a bit of an effort to get up and switch your alarm off. Uh, at the very early hours in the morning. So the last thing you want to do is climb across the room at the very early hours in the morning. So why not bring the phone or alarm clock to you? So the one that I use is this. It has three plugs and also three USBs on top. So it allows me to charge up to six things. This will allow me to charge my phone, my iPad, my laptop, all at the same time. But because it's got the USB ports, I can even charge things like my camera, or even my battery pack that I might need during the day. So I do recommend that you go out and get a little extension cable because it will make your life so much easier. All right, so there we have it. That is five things that I feel that every performer should have whilst traveling. If you are a magician that travels for work, comment down below on the things that you carry that you feel magicians would benefit from. And if you have enjoyed the video, make sure you click subscribe, switch your notification bell on, and give the video a wee thumbs up. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Farewell. I'd be the sing goodbye. That is me singing probably the wrong lyrics from The Sound of Music. And I've probably just lost all my viewers. Thank you. Good night.